In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create a connection to Oracle Autonomous Data Warehouse, or ADW, in Oracle Analytics. As a workbook author, creating connections to ADW is a common and important task that allows me to bring in datasets from external sources to be analyzed in FDI. In this scenario, I want to use FDI to analyze sales data in an ADW data source that I have access to. From the home page, I'll click the Create button and select Connection. In the Create Connection dialog, there are various types of connections that can be created, and the information required to create these connections depends on the type of connection I choose. For this example, I'll choose Oracle Autonomous Data Warehouse. I'll enter a user-friendly connection name and description of my choice. I'll leave the encryption type as Mutual Transport Layer Security, or Mutual TLS, which enables me to use a credentials wallet file. This file contains a security certificate for me to access the database. Next, I'll upload the credentials wallet file provided to me by my database administrator. I can find this on my local machine. The credentials wallet file secures communication between Oracle Analytics and ADW databases. I'll enter my username and password to log in to this given database. I'll also choose the service level. These names are contained in the file within the Oracle wallet. In this case, I'll choose workshop underscore low to use the least resources with the highest concurrency, and user queries will run in a sequence. If I was connecting to a remote database, I would select the box for it here. It's important to check with the administrator that the setup steps have been completed to connect to a remote data source. I can also check this box and make this a system connection, which enables me to create semantic models based off the data in the connection. In this case, I don't need to make a system connection, so I'll leave this as it is. I can choose whether to always use the credentials I have used here for the connection, or if I would like to require users to provide credentials every time they use this connection. In this case, I would just like to use the credentials I've provided, so I'll leave it as always use these credentials. If I selected the option for users to enter their own credentials, they could only access the data for which they have the permissions, privileges, and role assignments. I'll click Save and the connection is created. Now I'll verify my connection. I can find and manage this connection by clicking the navigator icon in the top left corner, then choosing data, and then selecting the connections tab. Here I can see this connection I just made. I can click the options menu to add it up to a new or existing group of connections, inspect it or delete it. I'll choose to create a data set to open the join diagram. Now I'll validate that I'm able to create a data set using the data tables from the ADW connection. With this connection, I can analyze data from an external Oracle ADW in FDI. Find additional videos and more information on using Fusion Data Intelligence in the links below.